Okay. Uh, the, the reference usually is used in the context of ritualistic brahmanas. Something like uh, in the Krishna book precisely, there's one story of, of brahmanas who are doing this big sacrifice. And then Krishna and Balaram are playing in the forest in their pastimes in this world. And then they send some of the cowherd boys and, and they tell them, go with these brahmanas, they're doing a sacrifice and, and beg for some food so we can have lunch. They were, I think, were they lost or something? They had no food or something like that. I don't remember why, but they needed food. So they sent these two cowherd boys to beg for food. And in, in Vedic culture, it's normal. You just go and beg and they're renounced. And for a couple of kids to go for little food is normal, you know. And the, so the, the boys approached the brahmanas and they said, uh, please, please give us uh, remnants, give us uh, food for Krishna and Balaram. They're here in the forest. <laughs> and the brahmanas, they rejected. <laughs> they, they were so puffed up that they said, no, let me continue my ritual. It's more important. You're Krishna and Balaram, forget about it. So they were like, oh, how is it possible? So they went back and then Krishna told them, oh, you know, maybe you should go with the wives of the Brahmanas. And then they went with the wives and the wives, when they heard, oh, Krishna and Balaram, oh, very beautiful. So they immediately provided with very nice foodstuffs and, and then they, they brought back the food and the whole pastime develops after that. Actually, the, the wives wanted to meet Krishna and Balaram. It's a whole, it's a whole pastime. The, the point is, in, in this example, the, the brahmanas who, who basically got caught up in the ritualistic part forgot about Krishna. And we see, well, I, don't, I haven't seen that in, in, because I haven't gone to India like that. <laughs> There's no question of brahmanas in the West. But as Prabhupada describes, uh, there's, there's, there's brahmanas that are like that, just like professionals, you know, that you hire a brahmana to do a ritual and, and they just like charge some money and, and it's like they're on the external platform. Also Lord Chaitanya met many of those and he avoided them, you know. It was like, okay, you're in the external platform, then I won't show anything. He was very careful to not uh, make the, freak them out, basically, <laughs> to not show any any intimate. Uh, like he was crying or something like that. The brahmanas would just say, "Oh, he's sentimental or whatever." So they committed many offenses, and a Vaishnava is be, be uh, above the brahmana in in this sense because the Vaishnava actually loves Krishna. He actually has has developed love in his heart. So how can you compare, you know? How can you compare someone who's just following rules to someone who actually loves Krishna? And precisely after that pastime where the brahmanas rejected, then, then they noticed that their wives served Krishna and Balaram. And so the, the brahmanas themselves, they were cursing themselves, saying, oh, how stupid are we? <laughs> we've been absorbed in this ritualistic and we forgot the Supreme Personality of God. Yeah, the wives got liberation actually. And their wives got liberation. So this is a very clear example of, of getting attached to the mode of goodness. That's it. Let's see if there's any question about this last pastime. questions? Okay. So let's proceed to chat.
Ready? Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Prala Jagadish 